Hey folks, it is Tuesday, December 7th. The time right now is 5.25 p.m. and the temperature is around minus two degrees Celsius. And I'm here on Queen Street East. And that's a look towards the intersection of Queen Street and Coxwell Avenue. There goes a 501 Queen Street car. And that'll be heading east to the Neville Park Loop. And this walk will take us through the Leslieville neighborhood. So I'll be heading east, or rather west along Queen Street. And I'll finish up around the Riverside District. And this one should be around three kilometers or so. It's been a while since I've last been to this neighborhood. And this is to the east of downtown. And just to the east of here, in the other direction, is the Beaches neighborhood. And along the way, I'll see if I can make a stop at the famous dollhouse. I've heard they've done some nifty Christmas decorating. Yeah, I've got plenty and three cart in my pocket. This first part of Leslieville here is a bit on the quiet side. But it will pick up and there'll be a fair number of bars, restaurants, and retail storefronts. But I wanted to walk across the length of Leslieville, so I started at Coxwell, where the neighborhood begins. And this is Kent Road. And you'll see a lot of places are named after ash bridges. Rather, the Ashbridge family, to be more specific, and pretty soon I'll be walking past their former estate. And they settled in this neighborhood in the mid 1800s. And there's a number of parks and other places named after that family in this area. And I think this is the estate coming up here on the right. And they had a very large amount of land in this area and they donated it, I think, to the Ontario Heritage Trust in the 70s. And some of the family members lived there up until, I think, as recently as the 70s. But unfortunately, there's really 
not much in the way of lighting on that side of the street. I've gotten a pretty good look at the estate in prior videos, but we're not going to be able to see a whole lot on this one. And even though the temperature is minus two with the wind chill, it certainly feels a bit colder than that. And coming up on the left is the Russell Car House. That's been servicing streetcars since 1913. There it is. Although these days I think it just services these 501 Queen Street cars. And there's a look at the Ashbridge Estate. All an obscured view as the streetcar is rolling past. There's a look in at the streetcar house. And there's a nifty Leslieville sign coming up. I'm gonna take this opportunity to slide some gloves on. Sorry about that, I was just holding my camera in my mouth. But it's one glove on. Let's see if I can get another one or another one on. The other one. It's cold, folks. There's that sign I mentioned. And a look into the streetcar yard. There's a place called The Holiday Shop across the street. All right, I think I'm gonna cross over to the north side. And this would be Greenwood Avenue. So you could head north here all the way up to the Danforth where you would think Greenwood Station would be, but it's actually a block to the east of there. That'll take you into the little Ethiopia neighborhood on the East Danforth. It's a place, Chino Locos, tasty good burritos.
This area doesn't seem too Christmassy. Their business improvement area is putting on what they're calling the window lust. I think that might be a window decorating contest. I might be wrong on that. I just kind of assumed that's what that meant. And here's an odd sight. A three-story walk-up right on Queen Street with no retail in front. Also no lights, so I'm not really sure you could see that. But hey, we got snow flurries. And way, way off in the distance, to the left you can see the CN Tower. There's a Tokyo smoke. And that is the new Leslieville location of Betty's. That's one of my favorite bars in the city, at least their King Street location. Although it says the Burren. Did it change again or do I just have the wrong spot? I'm pretty sure that was it. Maybe they rebranded and changed. I thought that was Eddie's Queen Street East. Unless they're just in a similar location. That bar looks pretty festive. If I wasn't wearing gloves, I would look that up. There's AAA. I'm quite fond of their location on Adelaide Street. I think their East Chinatown location recently closed down. And that was Hastings Avenue. Tis the season to have a runny nose. It's the icing on the cake. There's the Duke. It's a bar that's been here forever. And I have heard good things about this place, although the name eludes me at the moment. It's one of those too cool to put our name on the building kind of joints. There's the Queen's Head. 
So there's a couple of old pubs right around here. And an old school gas bar. This was originally a working class neighborhood. And up until I think the early 2000s, property values weren't the highest here. But much like some other neighborhoods, like the Junction, it's kind of undergone a resurgence. And now it's one of the more desirable neighborhoods in the city. It's not too far from downtown. It doesn't have subway, but it's got a fairly frequent, if not slow, streetcar. And coming up should be Jones Avenue pretty soon. There's Radical Road Brewing. It's a neat craft beer bar and restaurant. I recommend it. There's a Canadian icon on that mural of the Maple Leaf Forever fame. There is Leslie Grove Park. With a nifty decorated tree. And it's uh, the crowded house. So some of these restaurants or businesses are putting effort into their window displays. If you need if there was a spotlight lighting up that mural there on the wall. Oh, and they have a Dave's Hot Chicken now in Leslieville. Surprisingly, there's not a whole lot of people in there. I'm used to seeing that place relatively packed. And this is Burt Mount Avenue. We're just gonna take a quick detour up here to check out a local famous site.
There's a house here that has numerous dolls in the, in the front yard. That's always kind of neat to see. I apologize if the lighting isn't the best. And there's the house, but I don't see anything lit. I heard they had a pretty good Christmas display. It appears they do, but I cannot really see anything. I might have to cut that part out of the video. I don't normally do that, but that would mean... Leaving them this kind of pointless stroll up this relatively dark street. And we are back to Queen Street East. Mercatino E. Well, I'm not even going to try to pronounce that. <laughs> but Leslieville ends not too far from here at the rail tracks. Then we'll be entering South Riverdale on a part of Queen Street known as Riverside. Yeah, I think it's 
And I think I see something worth crossing the street for. sure who to put these decorations up. It could have been the condo sales office or possibly the BIA. grovecondos.ca I think I might want to cross back over to the north side. I was hoping the light cycle will be a little quicker than this. No new fighter jets. Canada wants to buy 88 new fighter jets in 2022 for $77 billion. I'm not informed enough on that particular issue. The Alvin Kitchen Brewery Garden. That looks neat. Another neat Leslieville mural. There's Baldini, I've never been. But I have been to the East Side Social. I think there's a picture of me eating there on Instagram from a few months back. I believe this is Carlisle Avenue, although I don't see any signs to confirm it.
I've noticed that at a few intersections where it's really poorly marked what street it is. There's reliable fish and chips. There's Craig's cookies. They are delicious, if not quite expensive. And we're here at Logan Avenue. Maybe I'll come back and do a live stream or I will check out a lot of these window displays. There's Barrio. It's a popular Mexican spot. I went there during the pandemic as well, or I guess it still is the pandemic, but that was one of the first places I went to after restaurants reopened properly. And coming up is the end of Leslieville. Right as I pass under these tracks, we'll be leaving Leslieville and entering South Riverdale. There's the Jimmy Simpson Rec Center on the right. According to that sign, we're in the Riverside District now, and this is McGee Street. So I guess there might be some overlap. The formal neighborhoods are Leslieville, 
and Riverdale. And coming up here is Degrassi Street. It's really quiet under this bridge. I try to stay as quiet as possible when I walk, but I think my backpack shoulder straps are kind of rubbing on my coat. And the mics can pick that up. And I've done some videos that featured that street I just walked past, Degrassi. And yes, that's where the kids on Degrassi Street was based. And they even occasionally use that street to film scenes for the TV show. Which later turned into Degrassi High, which I think is still a thing. one of the city's great music venues coming up here on the left, the Opera House. And almost directly to the north of it on Danforth is the Danforth Music Hall. And there's the Aubrey House. There's a neat old bank. Hello? Johnny. Hi. How are you doing, man? Good, you? Um, I'm all right. I moved here from England. Oh, I'm just filming right now. Do you mind being on it? Uh, don't mind me. Okay. <laughs> Not that I've been looking for you for a long time, but I moved here from England from about five or six weeks ago. Oh. I used to watch you, I still do, uh, watch your videos before I moved. Um, and they're like really inspirational. Obviously, cool. everything was locked down, so <laughs> it kind of kept me going for a bit. Awesome. Um, I follow both of your channels. Um, <laughs> And I've been saying to I moved over my missus and I've been saying to her like, man, I wonder if I'm ever going to bump into him. Well, <laughs> I'm always doing this pretty much every day, yeah, so yeah, it's bound to happen. Had, you had a few I articles and all that sort of stuff come yeah. out as well. It's been yeah, it's been pretty cool. And I walked past you now and I thought, you had a, you had a trim. <laughs> uh, this morning, yeah. <laughs> um, how you been, mate? Good. I mean, obviously, it's so how weird because I've been watching you for like a few months and you mm -hmm. probably don't know nothing about me, but it's all right. Well, if you've been in the comments, I might remember you, but... Maybe so, man. Maybe, maybe so. Um, <laughs> But yeah, no, I think, you know what, to be honest with you, I want to say, first of all, I want to say thanks because it was, um, I used to be like working in lockdown at home in England, waiting for the immigration to open up again. Mm -hmm. And I would be like working solo and like, it would be like, I would have your videos on in the background mm -hmm. and it would just be like, oh, you know, maybe I'll check that place out mm -hmm. or I'll check that place out or mm -hmm. maybe I'll bump into him sometime. And here cool. I am, six months <laughs> later, right? Yeah. What's your name? <laughs> My name is Guppy. Guppy. Guppy, yeah, yeah. I've, I'm. I've got a bunch of recordings I've done myself since I've moved here. Oh. I've shouted you out in a few of them as well. Oh, cool. Well, yeah. leave a comment in one of my recent videos and I'll check that out yeah, and yeah. give so it a look. And maybe see me around here because I just started work around the corner from here. Oh, cool. Um, and I'm here with my missus. She's working downtown as well. 
Um, so yeah, it was it was cool. good to meet you, mate. Keep yeah, you too. Thing, man. It's awesome. You too. Well, I'll maybe I'll pull your channel up on my other channel I when I do my Sunday night thing. Oh. I've got a bunch of. Um, <laughs> I've, got, I've got the same camera because my brother's got the version, the DJI, the first one. Yeah, the so pocket I've got one. The second one. Uh, so I did a bunch of recordings and I've got here and then you know what it's like when you move to Toronto like you get sucked into this vortex of like you know find somewhere to live and find a oh, job yeah. it's um, so yeah at some point but I'll definitely uh, bump you again on, on the, I, I think I, um, I messaged you on Instagram you, you know what I've so, got hundreds of I can't I can't go through that <laughs> sorry when you become famous, mate. <laughs> <laughs> sorry but um, no no don't be sorry about it because I, I, I totally understand um, yeah. but yeah even the message is probably the same things I'm saying to you now is just to uh, Thank, a massive thanks for everything. Keep doing what you're doing. Oh. It's amazing. Well, I'm glad you appreciate it. Yeah, and and nice. hey, it got people like me here. From, you know, so it's, it's uh, motivational. Well, the last two years have been a pain in the ass for everyone, right? Right. <laughs> and um, I'm talking to some of the locals at my office where I work, and they're like, you know, and you might be going to another one again because of what's happening in Europe and everything. So. Well, hopefully, I've heard this new one is more contagious, but way less deadly. So. Okay. Let's hope it stays well, that way. Jab, man. And, and you know, I made, it in time. <laughs> I made it in the window where everything was open for a while. Um, yeah. So well. yeah, look, man, it, it's, it's great to see you. Keep doing well, what you're doing. Well, welcome, sure welcome like, to Toronto. I'm sure yeah. there's a bunch of other people watching that were in my position, waiting mm. for the paperwork to come through. Yeah. You know, working, probably sitting alone in an office or whatever. So. Um, it's brilliant, man. Cool. Well, it's nice to meet you. Great to meet you too. And, uh, I'll, I'll bump you again on one of your uh, <laughs> handles or something. For sure. I'll let you know when, whenever I launch my career. Okay. Well, <laughs> welcome to Canada and stay warm. <laughs> All right, cheers. Well, there's an extremely friendly person. He's not the first person from the UK to recognize me while roaming around the streets of Toronto. So that's kind of neat. And he caught me just before the end of this one. And I want to be on the other side of the street because I think I want to take the bus here up to Broadview Station. It looks like there's a bus making its way. So this is Broadview Avenue. There's the Broadview Hotel. And if you ever recognize me like he did, feel free to say hello. It's always welcome. I gotta make sure I got my mask ready. I think there's a bus I want to jump onto just across the street here. That might be a queen replacement. I want the, well, I would get on it if it lets me on it, but these ones tend not to do that. Just so I'm ready. Looks like I just missed it. Nope, that one is going out of service. I thought it said to Broadview on it. And it looks like there's another bus making its way. And on that note, I hope you enjoyed this Tuesday evening walk through Leslieville and into Riverside. If you wish to support the channel, there's links to my Patreon and YouTube channel membership in the description. I also have an Instagram account and there'll be a link to PayPal as well. All right, thank you for watching and I will catch you on the next one.